Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again and I'm feeling streaky, um, which means that I want to actually try and build a streak this time round. Um, we've got a weird mark to do as Samson. That's kind of strange that we've just got the dark path to do as regular Samson. Let's do that, to be fair. Let's just get it out the way with. Um, I don't know why we've just got that left. I could, uh, I could do another champion, but I'm not feeling champion at the moment. I'll definitely get back to do some champions soon. There's a few that I want to check out. Uh, Tainted Samson's one that's apparently pretty interesting. Um, and there's, there's always more that are very intriguing, so I do want to check them out. Uh, the champions mod is really good. I'm really glad that we've got it on, just for a little bit of, like, sort of difference here and there. Just a little bit of a sort of sidestep from the regular content every now and again. When, when we don't really want to play a new character... But we want to play a character that we know, but in a slightly different way. It's the kind of like new characters. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go in here because it gives us some damage. Um, right. Might as well take these while we're on zero pennies. There you go. Boy. We eating good today. That's like... Aside from getting like good items, that's like one of the best um, care rooms you can possibly hope for. That is absolutely amazing. Do you know what? I'm surprised that hasn't really been yet. And this is no slight to the uh, Fiend Folio developers by any means, but I'm surprised there hasn't been um, there hasn't been any. Ooh, yes, there hasn't been any um, what are they called uh, resprites for Fiend Folio stuff, or at least not much. I mean, like I said, no slight to the developers. Most of the sprite work in Fiend Folio is fantastic, so it doesn't need respriting. There's definitely a few enemies that I feel maybe don't fit the theme as well. I guess it's one of those things where people just don't want to sort of besmirch other people's art and so it'd feel it'd feel a little wrong to to do that i guess um as for the question of the day on the, on the theme of respriting what's a what's a game that you'd love to see like some resprite mods for that maybe doesn't have them some one once that i'm not saying the art is bad or anything but you'd love to see some alternate styles in there or things cleaned up and improved because obviously as anyone will probably agree uh binding of isaac especially after birth and after birth plus the sprite work Definitely got a bit lazy and not quite as thematic as it once was and yeah, not the best and they definitely improved a lot of that with Repentance, uh, but there's probably a lot of other games that are similar that maybe I don't even know about. Oh, this keeps happening. What what's, What is this bug? Um, debug 10. Well, there's like an enemy that's like way off screen. Oh, that's not how you spell debug. <laughs> debug 10. There you go. There was a fly stuck way off screen behind this. Dude, health-wise, we are we are fully kicking it right now. This is amazing. So we are going to be going Dark Path. We have no other requirements on this run. It's literally just do Dark Path. So this should be a pretty simple one to get a to get a win on. Hopefully, I mean, honestly, this start is pretty goddamn impressive. So I'm hoping that's the case. I will trade a bomb for a key to bang the bang dicky. Um, I very much like that. I'm also happy with our luck increases we've got here. Oh, that was a very very bad hit. So, okay, though, yeah, I guess they're luck increases for our uh, for our fires, a little blue fires. I kind of like how we have a little blue flame in the front of our face and a black orb, a uh, black orb, a blue orb in the back of our head. It's kind of thematic um, in the way that we look right now. Ah, I missed all of them with that. That's kind of sad. But yeah, we're going to be wanting to up our luck as much as we can to make sure we're getting as many fires out there as we possibly can because they are... Oh boy, they're very good. Also, I didn't even mention I took this um, this void thingy, um, whatever it's called, void machine trinket. Because I think it can be kind of interesting to be able to get rid of all our health at once. Now, the one caveat to that is, will it trigger every single one of those red heart depletions as their own individual on hit effect? Or will it all count as one on hit effect? Because if it all counts as one on hit effect, it's not very good for us. But if they all count individually and we get a damage up for each one, it's pretty good. Bedtime story is actually not too bad either. Give me some of that never-ending story. Good, good, good. I'm gonna pop all of these. I'm just, I'm feeling lucky on this run, and so far it's proving to be, uh, it's proving to be pretty, pretty good for us. But yeah, the, the sleeping thing is super, super useful. On a two-room charge as well. I think it's really good on a two-room charge. Yeah, I kind of knew I was gonna get hit there. I was a little bit boxed in. So okay, the. A shop is available to us now. Unfortunately, not very good. I will buy this and this, though. I'm uh, just going to take that. I don't really care about the charge, to be honest. And we'll use our buck on our boss, which is, isn't as good on the boss, but it does slow it down for a little bit. Give us that double damage shot on it. 
I do want to try something, actually. They take double damage. Do they take double damage from bombs? They do. That very much seems like it did, right? Okay, that's that's an interesting thing for bosses, that is. Uh, Devil Deal versus Angel Deal. Of course, Angel Deal's a little more um, on the sweeter side for this guy, just because we um, we kind of need Red Hearts to take damage. So I think I'm going to go for Angel Deal because of that, and we'll keep on going. Um, it's pretty speedily going along here. But yeah, what, another sort of question of the day. It's not really a question of the day, but just a question. Um, what's a game that you sort of been meaning to play that you just can't get yourself to get into? For me, it's been Terraria. Like, I played Terraria on stream a long time ago, and I actually... I, I, this is after adamantly sort of... Not disliking, but thinking I wouldn't enjoy Terraria. And I finally tried it with Never Named, and I really, really enjoyed it. Ooh, hello. After firing for three seconds and releasing, shoot a barrage of white fires forward. White fires have a chance to create explosive ghosts on killing enemies. This sounds very interesting. While I do love the um, the original, um, I, I like this idea. Let's see. Okay, it fires a good amount. Nice. And I think... It's basically, we've got this like sort of flamethrower breath thing going. I think he's going to be quite good with our nighttime story thing as well. Because we're able to set enemies up. I've not seen any of these white exploding ghosties yet, though, which is slightly sad. Dude, just get hit four times in this room, why don't you? Absolute mongoloid. Okay, there's the ghost. Okay, so they're just purgatory ghosts. That's still really good, though. The only thing about the fires that isn't that good is they don't last that long. Dude, I'm getting hit so goddamn much right now. Like, way too much to be excusable. It's It's silly. But this is why I'm happy we have all this HP. I'm going to crack both of these open. Gotta love that golden penny rework. It's so nice. I'm really liking this as, a, as an item. I don't think it's quite as good as the regular pepper, but it's definitely more interesting. And it does good damage too. I like it. It just, it, it, the, the the big caveat about it right now for me is just the range is pretty low on it. I really am not a fan of this room. Okay. Yeah, that was a slightly annoying room, but we got through it okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I just see that the fires also destroy shots? Because if they do, that makes this even better. I didn't think it would. Well, let's, let's test this out. They do. Okay, this is incredible. This is incredible. Uh, we get double axolotl here as well. I'm, I'm happy to sit, take double axolotls. They're both good familiars. Good stuff indeed. Lovely stuff. I really like this. This is a very good sort of reverse version of this item. I like it. My axolotls are dying. Oh no. Oh, you see, this is why we, we, we're going for the poops right now. It also as well, it seems to be like a random amount of fires that you spew out. So sometimes you're going to get a lot. I mean, look at that. that. That's insane damage right there. This is beautiful. I'm very, very much enjoying this as a as an item I've never actually tried before. This is a this is like a cornerstone of our run now. It's always nice to get like the thumbnail item of really early on in a run. I always feel a little bit disingenuous when I put a item in the thumbnail that's like a really cool item, but I get like really late into the run. I always feel a little bit cheesy for doing that. Uh, we should go to the shop. We got plenty of money. Um, we got no time limit here as well. Uh, so it's always nice to get, like, the, the flagship item of the run really early on. And, I mean, we don't know how this run's going to develop. We might get another even more flagship item. Dude, there's a lot of these guys on this floor right now. And here we've got... Deplopliplia? <laughs> Plia? <laughs> we got double Deplopliplia. De -de I can't even say that. Deplopliplia. Deplopia? Deplopia. Okay. Um... I don't even know how to properly play this, right? Can Diplopia Diplopia itself? I've got to find out. I'm... Because... If so... <laughs> some wild shit's gonna go down. Um... 
Right, let me just check. I very highly doubt it can, but you, you've, you've got to check. Isaac Diplopia. Have a look. Um, Isaac can Diplopia be doubled, I guess. Can you diplopia a diplopia? Um, hmm. Diplopia doesn't work on itself, but Crooked Penny does. Hmm. I shouldn't have picked up that money. My bad. Right, I've bombed this. Should have bombed this guy as well, my bad. Just in case. Right, then we buy this one. We dupe all of this just to see. It yeah, didn't deploy it again. And then the question is, do we Diplopia all of this and keep our bedtime storage? Do we take Diplopia with us? I think we take Diplopia with us. Um, let's see what this does. Oh, it gives us one of those jewels, I see. Right. Other thing is just to quickly check for secret room in case there's something diplopia in the secret room, which I should have checked before using the first one, to be honest. Ah, oh, you bastard, there is as well. Oh, this destroys these two. Okay, okay, this is good shit. I really should have diplopied this instead, shouldn't I? This would have been way more fruitful. Yeah, I would have got loads out of this. Now, do I diplopia this or not? I don't really think it's that worthwhile, to be honest, because I'm going to have enough money and this, this item itself is fine. I think we save it for a potential devil deal or whatnot, um, angel deal, any of those things, and we, we just carry on and use it as such. Um, hmm. We've got a burn heart, so I think we can play a sack room here. For a bit. Right, boom, 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 boom. Okay, cool. Two and three. And four. Damn it, I was hoping for five there. Grab that. Okay. And five. Can we quickly check the shops? Is there anything else in there that we can use? I don't think there is there. Okay, min maxing a little bit here. Nah, there isn't. Okay. We'll have to use our burn heart here. Six and seven for the burn heart and the soul heart. I think that's worth it. We'll get money out of it as well from the golden hearts. Six and seven. Unfortunately, didn't quite get what we were looking for there, but overall that wasn't particularly bad. We got a lot of money out of it, which is, of course, quite nice. I was hoping for a, um, a, te a teleport to the angel deal or an angel deal item that we could then deploy here, but... We are also using the mod that adds more duplication effects to items, so we might find an item that duplicates and does some interesting stuff. Right. Down we go. I wish, um, I wish if an item was reflected, or if an item, if, if you were, like, holding Diplopia or a Crooked Penny, it would tell you if an item duplicates, if it has an effect, because I think that'd be a pretty interesting addition to the game. Although I realise it, it's sort of a lot to, like, a lot for something that doesn't happen that often. A lot of effort is what I mean. Rune bag is pretty good. We'll take rune bag definitely. I don't think I want the the bomb boy. He's a little bit of a risky bisky. We'll uh, teleport straight to the shop here and see what we see what we get given. More money, lovely. I always want to make sure I have a 
barrage of fire charged up and ready to go. It does seem the chance for it to give us um, purgatory ghosts is pretty low, though, unfortunately. I was hoping that would be slightly more likely, but it doesn't look all that likely. We'll join the gap over this way first. Like, we killed three enemies there and didn't get a single ghost. But, I mean, I suppose it's strong enough as it is on its own, so it's not exactly like I can complain too much. Holy mantle. Okay, what? hold up one second. One second. So, workshop. Go to subscribed items. And... Where's our more stacking mod? I don't even know where it is. One second. Let me, let me find it. Um, last update, it'll be somewhere around here. Does it have, um, because I know that I suggested a version for Holy Mantle, but I don't know if it was added yet, so I've got to check. There's a Godhead duplication, that's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, right now, we do not have the ability to duplicate Holy Mantle, but that is kind of okay. Uh, this is a, a pretty amazing run now. I mean, it already was pretty amazing. It's now pretty amazing Uh, but The fact that we have a spare dis Diplopia after already having used one is pretty amazing. That's like the first time I've ever seen anything like a reflected Diplopia. That's just nuts. And the health just keeps rolling in as well. I've got Holy Mantle, I really shouldn't be uh, pussyfooting around, I should just run at enemies pretty much. It also means I can more aggressively use my fires in uh, combat rooms, which is quite nice. Like that, look, I can just get in there and spew fire. I mean, the amount of health I have anyways, it's not like it's going to matter if I get hit, but still. So much more money to work with here. I'm really hoping we get a godhead now to duplicate it. I'd definitely go for a doubled godhead. Uh, cool. We hop in here. It's just a bunch of piggies. We have so much money, it's insane. Kill all the pigs. And we got a soul in here. Oh, nice. Soul of Bethany. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Right. Wow, just spread fire all over the entire room. It's beautiful. Ooh, good trinket there as well. I think I'll take that over what I've currently got. I think there's no more poops left in this room. Oh, no, there's one more. Okay, I got rid of it. Good. He's just going to fly away now. Right, yeah. I will quickly grab this trinket because it's definitely better than what I've currently got. I'm also going to check this for secret room. Beautiful. <gasps> Pet rock! Run stats being increased while held. We definitely do need some more damage. Our base damage right now is pretty bad. Obviously, it's been augmented pretty heavily right now by the fires, so we don't have to worry about it so much. But it still would be nice to have better base fire rate regardless. Oh, there's a tinted rock there that I didn't see. I would have used one of the one of those guys' as bubbles if I'd have seen that in time. It's okay though, but yeah, we've got plenty of money to work with here. We're in a really, really good spot for health. Damage is reasonable, but not the best. What are we looking for next, then? What are we looking for next? We can't go to um, Thingy Floor. Uh, what's it called? I can't remember the floor's name now. Um, the future, because we really need shops right now. We've just got so much money to spend, it'd be complete waste if we didn't take advantage of the money. I do realise there's a shop down there, but it's not quite the same sort of shop, and sometimes it can be a bit naff what it gives you, so... Okay. We'll check this out. This is what we're looking for here. Ah, bugger. Sad times. It did give us some more uh, percent chance on our angel deal, though, which I'm grateful for. Every time, every time I forget this guy has an invincibility period. Yeah, the thing is as well, now that we have Holy Mantle, we're taking so little damage that we're not getting that extra damage from Bloody Lust. So, 
Our, our actual base tier damage is real bad. Cool, we got our angel deal as well. Of course, we'll take Barris Serp here. We got Teeth. Ah, oh, this is this is interesting. So, gives us uh, an extra red heart, which is kind of nice. When entering a floor, we'll se sequen sequentially forfeit our coins and three percent chance to be taken every time a pickup is taken away. It'll stop if teleported. Does not affect the floor's devil deal. Will leave you at least ten coins. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should take this. This is, this is pretty much guaranteed angel deal on the next floor. We're going to lose a lot of money, mind you. We're going to lose a lot of money. Um, but we'll see. It's a 3% chance per coin taken, so... Hopefully it won't take too many. There you go. Unfortunately, still not quite a good... I, I, I'm sure I'll end up holding on to this Diplopia for, like, way too long. What I'm kind of hoping for is I get, like, a Diplopia and a reroll. But we were, ask we were asking for damage, and we uh, we got some damage, so I'm definitely not displeased with that at all. But yeah, the higher we can keep our money, the better. So we probably don't want to spend any of it at the shop, to be honest. Because, um... Ooh, three Golem Trinkets. It can be pretty interesting here. Blue spiders are replaced with friendly rock spiders. Chance to replace um, tinted or coal rock spiders. Interesting. Grants a sun planet that have special effects on blocking shots. And chains the highest health enemy at the start of every room, immobilizing them for a short period. I think we're probably still better off with the trinket we have, unfortunately. Interesting ideas, but nothing really beats out just raw damage output from these uh, white flies. I think they only do like one tier of damage each, but you get three of them per room. So it stacks up to being uh, a good bit of damage every room. I'm not going to give that away. Nice. Oh, I sp that was so, so stupid. Um, I goddamn spent a key right after golden key dropping and not picking it up. Hey, so there's more money. More money is going to be just what we want. Typically, um, let, let's let's think about this. Um, we'll need we'll need around thirty coins for a ninety percent chance, a ninety percent chance to get an angel deal teleport. So if we can leave each floor with at least that, well, it'll always leave us at ten. So we need at least forty coins when we leave the floor. To get a pretty good chance. It'll almost always be less than that. But 90% is just obviously an ideal number for this. Um, I'm fairly certain this is secret room. That it is. Unfortunately, it's Big Boy McGee. See, now this I'm going to hold on to. I very much like having luck right now, but later down the line, having more guaranteed angel deals might be more preferential. And golden pennies, while not guaranteed to give us value, could give us a good bit. In fact, actually, I don't really need luck anymore because I can use my fires whenever I want. But I'm at 71 coins. I could te technically reach um, 99 pretty easily. Um, but like by accident, this floor should have waited till the next room there this. Hmm. Familiars have more range and better herming. I think we will take that. <gasps> Sun Bond. Come on now. That is like the perfect pairing. I will take the Baby Bender though, just because it's gold. But Sun Bond plus uh, Baby Bender. If we can get two trinkets this floor somehow, if the shop is selling uh, something that allows us to do that. Oh boy. I, I might I might just buy that because that'd be, that'd be pretty fun. Not that we've got any tier effects they can adopt right now anyways, but still. Good floor to get um golden thingy on. Golden key. But yeah, them guys having better herming and stuff overall will be good. Well, having herming in the first place, but having better herming is even better. Oh, you see, this is why I don't want to use my golden penny. Because we've managed to get uh, so much goddamn uh, so much goddamn money this floor anyways. You die. God damn. One healthy boy. I'm always trying to charge my fire up before I get into the next room. Like I said, it does seem random on how many fires we do spew out. Sometimes it's absolutely loads, and other times it's only like four or five. Like that time, it was a massive barrage. Same with that time. And other times it seems to be a little more piddly. Like that, like that was a lesser one there. 
Okay, we got a Quasar Shard. Um, we still need to find our shop, so let's carry on for that. We should probably... Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll carry our Quasar Shard and leave that there. We're on Dank Depth 1. It's a fun run. I'm liking this. Got some cool stuff going on. We got something cool going on. Okay. Into here. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, baby. This is a good shop. Um. So f first of all, let's just grab this and use it. So Book of Virtues is good. I think I think I think I'm gonna take Book of Jubilees because that can give us pennies or high quality pennies, which is good for our money. Um, there is other th good things to get from here as well. There's um, what's the other one? There's this one here, the Friend Folio down but No, not Friend Folio. Yeah, Friend Folio. Um, I don't think there's any other passive other than that. I think we're gonna go for Book of Jubilees here. Gives us more money. Cool, I'll bomb this guy for a little bit more money as well. Decent shop there, decent shop. I was really hoping to get a hold of two trinket spaces, but I think that's fine. I think we're good to go here. There's nothing else in this floor that I can imagine being super prudent to us. Quasar Shard, I might have to leave you a B. I'll see what boss item we get first. This guy could be a bit of a pain if you leave him alive too long, so hopefully we don't. There you go, it's not too bad. Pentagram, I'm sorry, but we won't be using the Quasar Shard this floor. We're taking that with us. And hopefully getting our guaranteed angel deal and then something we can diplopia, please. <laughs> We'll always take our pennies first. That was like nothing at all there. Okay, this is great. It sets our damage to seven, but it's bugged and it will then double our damage when we leave the room. So we get seven. And then I'll just up it to 14 the moment we leave the room. In fact, let, let's bomb this guy for higher angel chance. Just, just in case. I don't, I don't think it'll matter because we're always going to get the angel deal early anyways. But yeah, that was perfect because it means we don't have to use our luck down yet. There you go, look. It's it's completely bugged. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with that. Unless it's meant to do that, but I can't imagine it is. It says sets your damage to 7. And it sets it to 7 and you leave the room and it just adds another 7. <laughs> I don't think that was the intention of that item, but it makes it a very good item, so I'm not going to complain too much. Oh, hello. Contraband is interesting, but I don't think it's something we want right now. I like the fact that the Bacano Rock doesn't just give you flies and spiders, it actually gives you locusts. That's what the Bacano Rune should do. Bacano Rune sucks. <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 no. Ho oh, ho, that room could have gotten pretty spicy if I let him get to any of those. Beautiful. This is a really fun build we've got going on, especially now that we've got good damage. Randomly smelt a trinket onto us, hell yes. The blue key, nice. Ahaha, yes. So now we don't, not, don't need keys, we should go straight through to rooms. Lead pencil, hell yes. Do doesn't duplicate, so we'll just take it. Like I said, we might end up just holding on to this Diplopia for ages. I'm really hoping we get an interesting angel deal we can duplicate. Just remember, if we get like Sacred Heart or something, that doesn't duplicate well. Oh, we do have a lead pencil charge bar now as well. That's from one of the mods that I have from missing charge bars. I like that quite a lot. Bit of shot speed and a temperance. Uh, temperance is actually pretty good for us here because we can gain some money, but more importantly, we can take some damage. Which will get us up to our mega bonus. The fires are actually going to be more so for defense than anything now, actually. They'll be good for damage here and there, but for the most part, it's the defense part of it. Right, we're going to want to find the shop again, just in case. The soul hearts galore here. Mm. Mm. Okay. 
potentially a difficult room if we didn't have the damage we have, but we do, so it's not. <laughs> this is... This has become immense. This run this has become immense. I love it when you get a run like this. It, it feels really good at the start, and you just kind of know it's going to snowball. And thus, it does. Ooh, hello. Oh, wait, hmm. Hmm. We will guaranteed lose whatever we leave in this room. I think we're better off with the, uh, the guaranteed money, to be honest. Um, I'll take this as well just because it drops a credit card. And the credit card's real good. I don't actually know why I did that, to be honest. Because the credit card's actually not of any use to us right now. That was kind of stupid. <laughs> that was a bit of a waste of money there. My bad. Just threw away that rune for nothing. Yeah, that was that was that was very stupid of me. My bad. I was like, yeah, the credit card, we can use it on a devil deal. It's like for, for one, I'm not going to devil deals. And for two, there's no more shops left, so what have I what have I bought this for? I just wasted 15 cent for nothing. And because of that, I'm gonna try to re somewhat recoup my losses. Good stuff, got our health back here. I can go back and use our blood donation machine a little bit more now to uh, further recoup my losses. I want to get to 75 cent before I go to the next floor. Can I talk about how cool my character looks with this little hat on and the uh, the Grim Reaper face and the Samson hair? Kind of amazing. I like it. Oh, we can go in here for free. Kind of forgot about that. Oh, lovely. Glad we came in here for free. Right. Oh, where we go? Oh, wait. Is there a spin-down shard in that, uh... In that arcade? There is! What the hell? Don't do this to me, game. Okay, cool. Um... Just, just because, I'm going to quickly go and see what the, um, what the sharp plug spins down into and see if it's worth using it. Because it might be worth keeping the spin down sharp at this point because it's just so good. Fanny pack, it's not, it's not great. I think, I think I'm going to keep the spin down shard. I know we, we potentially lose some devil deal stuff. In fact, let's go and use our, well, okay. I need to, I, my, my head's a jumble. My head's a mess right now. Let's go and play this a little bit. Right, there you go. Let's do that. Then let's go and use our little thing, our little money generator, lose some luck. And then we keep the spin down shard. That's that's my that's my player right now, I think. That's my player right now. So I come over here, I use this. Yeah, that goes up to 92, so that's that's put us in a good spot. We should probably take the HP here. Um That's put us in a good spot. Then we'll come back. It's kinda nice that we can get our um lead pencil ready ahead of time, because now we know how many shots it is. We know it's ready for the next shot. Right. Let's fight our boss. Easy peasy. We're going dark path here. We did get a devil deal, but the teeth will automatically send us to an angel deal anyways. There's nothing here I want anyways, even with Diplopia. Uh, spin down... Oh, that's bingy other. Right, let me just let me just <sighs> spin down. I think we definitely want bingy eater. Bingy is just too good not to take. Very early angel deal here. Trisagian? 
I think, at this point. We could dupe and get birth, but I don't think we need birth, really. I think we just take Trisagian. Be pretty happy with it. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Push them onto the spikes. It's the easiest way. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a fun room. I like that. Okay. Still holding on to Diplopia. We tithed in a very, very short amount of time. Tithe is just... Whatever, it's he, I, I never know how to pronounce it. Someone did tell me at one point, but I've completely forgotten. It's, it's such an insane item, because it's like... On a lot of runs, it's completely trash, because all it's going to do is give you a small chance to get an Angel of Devil deal, but make sure you never have keys or coins. But on a run where you have bank, and especially the ability to get more money, it's absolutely absurd how good it is. It's basically guaranteed Angel deal every single floor. And not only that, it's guaranteed Angel deal at the start of every single floor. It's not even like you have to beat the boss. It, it allows for so much play. I very much like it. Good, good, good. And yeah, we've not had any, like, insane angel deals yet, but it's still nice to be able to get them. I like Trisagian for the piercing and just, it's cool. You see, this is the shit. This is the shit I was talking about with, um, Book of Jubilees. Sometimes it'll just drop cash on you. Die already, you sack of piss. You piss kidney. We got one of these here, which unfortunately we don't have the bombs for. Right, keep moving. We're getting near to having the bombs for it. Good, good. Four bombs, there you go. Now we have the bombs for it. Let's go and uh, get ourselves an item. And to be fair, if it's anything like Sister Maggie or Akeldama, I'm going to soul have eaten it. I like these things. They're, they're rare enough and they cost four bombs. I think they're they're pretty well balanced. Oh, I did forget that we'd be getting the snack. Well, I'm still going to do that anyways. And, um... I think we'll take Stigmata in this case. Didn't give us much damage at all. Expecting more than that. Right. Also, to be fair, Duplopia now has more uses. Because with Binge Eater, we could just use it on a room that has multiple items in it to get a lot of stats. I think that's decent enough. Got to remember with lasers like that, at the end of the room, I can just walk straight through them because I've got Holy Mantle. I've not really been paying attention to the fact that we are getting Lemmageddon Wisps every room either. That's just kind of been on top of everything else. Cool, right. Um, straight through, I think. Ooh, it's the reworked version of this guy. I quite like him. He's gone, though. So we did get Perfection, which I think I'll probably take. Um, we can get the one with Shot Speed and Luck. I think we'll go for the Shot Speed and Luck. Um, we'll take Perfection. We've got very little chance of getting hit right now. We'll check in here. Um, we've got Tears and Shot Speed. I think we'll take the Tears and Shot Speed. And then we shall b -b 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 bounce. And then Tithe should do its thing. See if it takes a lot of money off us this time. Still, so far, it's not taking any more than like 20 cent in one go. There you go. This is this is the big one. That was the big one. And um, we get Spirit of Acceptance. We're definitely taking that. Spirit of Acceptance. 
always gives you a random hidden item. Well, no, 50% chance when an item spawns to give you another random hidden item, which is real strong. It can be bad because it obviously can give you bad items, but overall it's good. And it also means we have more rooms where we, um, more rooms where we can diplopia. So now, at this point, we're, we're at the point where we, we have a chance of not getting a teleport next floor. We're going to need, um, we're going to need, actually, no, to be fair, we've got, we've got, I, th I think 50 cent is enough to tr try and make sure you get a teleport. So if we can get to 50, I'll be pretty reasonably happy that we can get a teleport next floor. And there you go, Book of Jubilees says, ask and you shall receive. This run just feels like it's been so methodical, like everything's just gone exactly as I've sort of planned it. And I feel like I've min-maxed in the right ways. Like, I, I haven't min-maxed in boring ways. I've still taken risks. Not that there's a lot of risk on this run. Come on, you've got no health, my guy. And I lost Holy Mantle there as well because of stupidity, which means I could lose perfection if I'm not careful. Um, and we're going down. We are very much going down. Okay. Right, so we should get a teleport here still, even if it takes us all the way to the end of our coins, but it shouldn't. We'll see. Oh, unfortunately, we got unlucky there. So, now we just take this, and I'll take the food. Oh, no, we got mine. Okay, mine's actually not bad. Mine's actually not bad. Pretty happy with that for the last two floors. Now it's just our goals, try and get as much money as we can. Um... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that chest, I don't think. Just because I don't know how much red health I'm gonna get. I've got some there, but obviously it's taking full heart damage now, so it's a little bit more risky. Oh, where we go? What the hell is this thing doing? Rune bag giving us lots of soul stones. I really like the fact that rune bag can give you st soul stones. And that's really, really nice. Good to get rid of them guys so quick. Beautiful. You feel refreshed? I don't even know what that does. I guess I'll take it up to 41 cent now as well. Like I said, 50 is kind of what where I want to be at, so 40 is already good. So many ways to gain more money right now. Now the fact that we've got white Trisagi and plus the white fires, it's quite a quite a visually nice com uh, combo to go together. Forty-four. Should get one more angel deal, I think. Especially considering it'll take our keys away and stuff after the facts. Oh, I see you're invisible. I was wondering where the hell you were. One of these things in case we get a good secret room shop. Sadly not. Right. Pop in here. Two, three, and bomb. Got the fires at the perfect time there to insta kill him, pretty much. There we go, easy. Got allergies, I don't think I'm going to need it, let's be honest. And now. I could diplopia these chests actually, but I, th I think I'd rather diplopia. Okay, we'll diplopia in here. In here, definitely. We got all all HP. We didn't get any of the actual um, thingy items, but I don't really care. Guppy sales very good right now. We got T, which is HP, Satanic Bible, which is whatever. That. 
take it on the second one, which is HP. <laughs> Bingy is eating good tonight. Look at the shot speed. Okay, now Bingy it might be boring, but god damn is it fucking amazing. God damn incredible. And we've got 16 looks, we'll be getting a lot of chests, plus Guppy's, uh, what's it called? But even more chests. Ah, this time we got Friendly Ball. Dead weight. I really don't like dead weight. It's a very bad item. Makes you automatically throw it at the start of every room. It's kind of like having Taurus on two speed. It just takes con takes control away from you at the start of every room. And I really don't like that. It's not quite as bad as Taurus, obviously. It doesn't last as long, but it's still annoying. Right, I think we'll just do the boss at this point. Get out of here, dead weight. You are literally dead weight. You're annoying the hell out of me. Hyper tears. Oh, hello, devil deal. Some more, some, some more stats for us, maybe? We got these fires. Are you okay, man? What the fuck was that about? <laughs> he just um, immediately committed suicide the moment he spawned. Okay, that was interesting, but there you go. Yeah, your tears don't even exist, my guy. Much keep perfection as well. Beautiful stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy this run. That was just fantastic. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.